Hey, what's up everybody around the world? Welcome back to another tutorial. Okay, today I'm going to share with you how to model a realistic brick wall in Revit. Recently, I have been working on office design and so if you got a client <clears throat> based on my client concept he want to combination with some kind of brick wall like composite brick wall or cut out brick wall and he is my case study as you can see on my screen here and i know most of Revit user or student when they want to make the brick wall they try to using the teacher to apply that but actually i know we got many ways to model our realistic brick wall why not make our realistic beyond to make our teacher okay so today i'm going to give you another quick instruction we just create a few family is a curtain panel then we will apply directly like my brick wall here here is my concept design okay so now i think it's pretty much for introduction let's speak into our project together okay so now i want to create a new family first first thing i need to go to our file over there then go to new we will create a few family to reach our goal to make our curtain brick wall sorry go to our family type then i'm going to english because my country we are using for metric then i will add in for metric curtain panel pattern but just hit open up once i open that revit will be transfer me to another page and first thing what i need to do i just adjustment my panel first i will make it for 200 for vertical for horizontal then what it make it 100 millimeter basically this side not a correct side for our brick wall but i just make it easy for you guys to follow along if you want to make it correctly you need to check back the side of brick wall okay so here i'm going to make it a quick one just like all our panel here adapt to for panel there then go to create form solid form make it for extrusion then we can make adjustment here and basically our thickness of brick wall is about 55 millimeter and i will apply for parametric also i will make it for positive offset okay so i'm going to okay then of course i need to create a new family parameter also go to create new material then rename it just make it for brick wall like this then go to our appearance library or you want to go shortcut key you can go to appearance library over there then just simply adjustment the color there because i want to use a shortcut key and of course you need to apply for realistic material if you want to rendering but it's just a easy presentation or live recording like me i just drag away use this it's apply then it's okay once i done that i can turn this one to realistic see what it looks like okay it's perfectly it's time to create another curtain panel i'm going to our file over there then go to new we create another new family curtain panel also go to family the function is we need to create a two different curtain panel it's our instruction open up and one for another curtain panel we need to change the pattern there and first thing i need to adjustment our panel first make it 200 by 100 or so is applied horizontal and vertical then we need to adjustment our panel chain pattern to our brick wall is over there as you can see here then i'm going to load our previous one just load in load to our family x then i'm going to cm for shortcut key then roughly thing i will press like this because we got our adaptive point here okay perfectly then i'm going to create a new family create new sorry it's a new project then i will make it for architecture template okay another template is open up then first thing i want to make our actual red side because when i use our messing inside and plasma directly is hardly to adjustment that and because sometimes not sometimes is oftenly revit not solving our dimension let me show you first if i want to use our model like this as you can see here i could not see dimension from the first point until second point so that's why we need to create our reference to the line first li for shortcut key 
Then I will make it. I will consider make it for four meter. Hit escape a couple time. Then I'm going to our messing and size in plus mass mass one. Then just pick plan here. Pick here like this. Hit escape. Go to my three D element there. Then I'm going to select our line there. Create form solid form, and start from front view there. And I will offset it for four meter. Same as our level one to level two. Then the next step, we need to divide our surface and change to our brickwork pattern. Make it like this and change to our pattern on our property panel. Make it for one slash two step or so, same as before. And I will make it for 20 by 20 fix. Let's apply. Okay, something like this. Then go back to my 3D here. We need to load into our project first. Load in. Load to project file over there. Just load in. Then go to our 3D, select here again, then just change it to our family egg. So now file is regenerating, it has get a couple of time, as you can see here, change it to realistic, as you can see here, we got our thickness as well, and we got our joining as well. Basically, if you want to add some cement here, you just add in for your project here, but but on here it's just for decoration our reward that's why i never add in some kind of cement and sand and I just hit finish come on okay as you can see here that's how you can create your realistic reward by use a different curtain panel pattern best or four panel adapter in revit okay guys I think it's pretty much for the tutorial. I want to make it as soon as possible because my project deadline is coming soon. But when I working on this project of the design, I realize why make why not make a tutorial about realistic people because I know we got a chance to use a teacher. We got a chance to use our realistic, but I prefer using for realistic because give more functionality and give more thickness for it is some kind of realistic. Okay, guy. If you are first time reaching out here and you enjoy this tutorial, make sure hit subscribe button below and click the bell icon for turn on notification if you don't want to miss my future tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and I see you for another tutorial in Revis and have a nice weekend. Thank you.